What a heartfelt reunion. It's not even a reunion. It's more like the girl finding her purpose in life because everything she did didn't matter because she's a psycho. And the Assassin's Guild is like, you're out of here. We're going Corpa. You are a brand of risk. Advertisers are going to pull out. You got to get out of here. But then he said, well, you know, the grandson of like the demon guy, he's still around. So like, go find him. And then she finds him. And now he's basically like her meaning or even existing, I guess. Now, there's still like one more party mate that we haven't come across yet. It's like the red samurai guy. When is that going to happen? Let's begin today's reaction. No clue who this guy is. All right, he's changing uniforms, I guess. Shapeshifter! Shapeshifter! Yes. Explosive diarrhea. Death row inmate. I wonder if the death row inmate is going to be our next uh, party mate. Mm, is he? No, the guy had like red hair, didn't he? Puppeteer Hugo. Uh, controlling people, not necromancer, but controlling people. No title for today? We're doing cardio training. The grind. Yes, sir. Hey, he's puking like Aqua from Konosuba. Oh, shit. Bro, he's fucking exchanging blows with a giant axe like that. Dude, he has like a little short dagger. That's crazy. Grandpa, chill! Holy fuck! Oh! Put all his weight in that one. Now we good, we good. You can tank it. Okay, okay, okay. You still feel the punch from back then? Oh yeah, this was like the underhanded compliment of like the restriction of being a talker class despite having to build a body like that. It's fine. Doesn't matter. We don't need to be frontline fighters. Focusing on frontline fighter power is stupid. We as a talker can surpass that and by boosting up powerful teammates, we can do way more than a single frontline fighter could ever imagine. Comparing these two classes together for destructive power is pointless. You don't see the potential of this true class. What's up? Oh, nature, I mean, she is full! Let me touch you. What do you want to touch, baby girl? <laughs> Did she just pounce? She just straight up pounced on him. Remember, this is 21 years old and a 16 year old, by the way. Like a predator looking at its prey. Fingers locked. We're wrestling. I'm just saying, imagine if the roles were reversed. Oh my god. That's why double standards exist, right? I think double standards existing is maybe a good thing for scenarios like this, where, again, just imagine if it was swapped. Oh my god, this shit would be popping off online. <laughs> Big boobed bimbo. BBB. <laughs> Straight up essay. <laughs> She's saying the shit that the creepy guys say. <laughs> what are you wearing tonight? Can't believe you wore that out tonight. It's as if you're asking for it. Oh, Noel, your body. Oh, it's your fault for seducing me. Like, what the? <laughs> A lot of couples, huh? <laughs> Where are we going? Appraiser's 
We can like uh, level up here or like rank up. Only gnomes have appraisal skills in this world and it can't be ranked up and they have this whole like structure. Like these are the gnomes. It's basically a whole ass company. Academics of this world. The mark? I see. It just happened to just be there in the most uh, opportune moment for fan service. If you've gotten enough EXP, a mark just shows up on your body. What if you can't find it? What if it's in like a place that you would never fucking know, like in the fucking back, and you were like, oh shit, I was ready to rank up for like three years, didn't even know. I feel like that would be the premise of an amazing power fantasy. Not an amazing one, but like, you know, a generic slop that we would enjoy. Basically, imagine this specific system, but the main character thinks he's so weak, and he only grinds every day in like the lowest level area, and he has a mark that he never knew. But it turns out like the amount of EXP that you've exceeded has been stockpiling the entire time, and there's this crazy stupid amount, but he's still weak because he's at a lower level. And then the twist is everyone thinks he's weak, and then he gets leveled up, and it's just like, oh my god. You know what I mean? Is it on his ass? Where is it? <laughs> don't worry, it's not gonna be another girl, it's gonna be a guy. I don't think Arm will be too mad about that. Unless the guy is into Noel too, then they can both compete for him. Party of three. She's getting jealous, man. I ain't gonna lie, the appraisal, appraiser gnomes, the look in their eyes is like, kind of scary. She has a terrifying look in her eye. It's like, obsessed with research. Who is this Ikemen? Armaments. Ah, classic dwarves, always craftsman. That's a crazy chest here. You think he shaves it just so that it looks like this shape? I refuse to believe that the chest here doesn't happen over here and over here. He just carefully grooms it so that he has like this middle piece. What a slut. Oh, Jesus. They are destructive. Okay. スキルを習得するための本を専門買うと適当なものを見せてやってくれかしこまりました。よろしく頼む。スキルブックは丈夫によって扱う店が違うんだ。俺は別の店を見てくるから。予算は100万フィルまで。うん。使い捨てるなよ
even Loki in like the Marvel series, right? He can like shape shift and shit too, right? Yeah, yeah, he was the guy from the uh, the prison cell. Underhanded deal we doing. Some shady shit. Prisoner. On death row? Huh. That's crazy, because the opening showed us like a samurai dude, but the puppeteer could be the teammate, or we're being misled. I need to go back again. 1039 right now. 1039. Yeah, it's this dude. But this dude is not Hugo, right? This dude is not Hugo, but uh, wonder what's happening with this low uh, Hugo guy. Guy does not have red hair at all. He has black hair. Rain. Kinda looks like that. But the people we sent to slavery, they deserved it. Kind of. No, they did. Bald! Everything changes? Everything changes? You think he just takes back shots for fun sometimes? OP class. Yeah. Bad drug doing the round. Oh shit! Fentanyl's being spread! Hey, there's Dio again. The fu? I mean, they are the mafia. So, like, if a subfamily of the official branch is doing it, then I guess it's allowed. Maybe we should go talk to, you know, Mr. Luciano himself. Gambino. Alright, we're gonna take out the mafia next? <laughs> Today's episode is called The Swordsman of from the Far East. Our teammate, the third teammate, where, where, he's, he's gonna show up. It's literally the title. <laughs> She's so possessive. <laughs> How many plates of meat you fucking eating? Whose money you spending? You spent all the fill. <laughs> Twin tail girl. I think I remember, kind of. That's why there's a change in the drug being smuggled in, or being spread. Finocchio is the one that we know, right? Luciano or something? We've never actually met him, right? The guy that has Dio's voice actor was not like the super top elite mafia boss, but simply one of the factions around us, right? Hmm. <laughs> there it is! <laughs> That's a teammate! Samurai guard! Longer hair, but the hair color matches. He just needs a haircut. He just needs a haircut, and he's holding on to a stick. That should be a samurai sword. Yep, this is our teammate. Ew, immigrant. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I gave some money for him. Hmm. What? <laughs> it's for you. But I guess he's so... Samurai spirit, like honor, is like, nah, man, this is your money. You dropped this. Real gun. That's all I can think of recently. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, Noel is, you know, he he is pretty, you know, uh, androgynous. Such a cute gal like you. No. I ain't no onna. Oh, damn! That's so mean! Don't you dare touch me! <laughs> Bro! Oh, 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 flashback? Let's see how good he is with the stick. 
I'm not sorry. Let's see what you got. Yo, they did the fight scenes quite well in this anime. Look how fluid that is. Nothing off screen. You can see everything connecting. No, I'm a talker. In the Far East. Yeah, Japan. Far East, though. Oh! Now I will try. Look at that aura. Teammate. He's the one. You know it's serious when they change the fucking resolution. Widescreen, baby, like a fucking movie. No, don't ruin it! Koga. Noel still sorry, Arma's still eating. Pudding. That's pretty glad that's pretty cool that like a scout has like different evolution paths. That's some of the shit that I really love in different games where like a class will have so many different subclasses and those subclasses will have so many different branches and stuff like that. The craziest name here is Torturer. <laughs> Torturer, bro. Um, I mean, Arma is an assassin, so should she not just be an assassin? But if we have a samurai who's going to be frontliner, maybe we need someone who needs to sit back. And in that case, chaser and bandit probably makes more sense. Maybe we pick chaser then. Ch chasing after Noel's booty. That is, that is such a fucking aggressive scene. Oh my god. The ring. Normally, but why does he own him? This guy sucks. Yo, Noel, kill him right now. Free him. I feel like this is not the last time we're gonna get that. It's gonna happen over and over and over again. I mean, do you blame them? He has longer eyelashes than most of the girls in this show. What you doing with those hands, huh? What you doing? You trying to feel up, Noel? Oh man. I forgot he had a gun. More mafia stuff. Ooh, underground fighting ring. So he basically just embezzled, right? I kind of got caught skimming my contributions to the boss. He was embezzling the funds during this, you know, underground battle ring, and then the mafia boss basically kicked him out. He didn't kick him out. He's on the run. We should use this now as blackmail to get Koga. Yes. ダランベールより格上のファミリーだせない。悪事はもあるようだな。ま、町の掲示板にもまだ募集広告貼ってあったし。もしかしたら、ああ、だからって普通はデートの途中で抜け出したりしないよね。でも、剣道か。そうです。
見通しでうちの関係者だったりしますかいの残念だがそうではない He's not correcting him this time Here it comes 女ならの女え Yeah It's your fault for fucking jumping to conclusions Can't see Arma's face. I think it's very intentional that we can't see Arma's face right now as this elf girl kind of, you know, teases Noelle's Arma saying, like, ooh, we might be around other girls. What kind of face she making? Uh oh. I think she mad, mad. I feel bad for Koga, man. I think he just shot him in the fucking face, too. I feel bad for Koga, both. He got no clue what's about to happen. Maybe his life as a slave would have been more peaceful than what's about to happen here with these two, man. I don't know. I'll kill them dead. What does that even mean? I'll kill them dead? Have you heard I'll kill them alive? I will kill you until you are dead. Yes. People die when they're killed. The end? And that's today's episode of The Talker. And what are we doing? We are getting into this new arc, which is hinting at new party members, as well as a underground battle ring movement of... Uh, Drugs that's making go people go crazy, and that's why there's so many stabbings. A different mafia subfamily recently, you know, changed their leader, and that's why the distribution of the, you know, this world version of fentanyl is going crazy. We learned about how Arma needs to change into like a different and uh, evolving like a class beyond like a scout. And since the samurai guy will most likely be frontliner, and Noel will be, you know, kind of like in the middle. I think that it makes sense for Arma to be that chaser class, right? Chaser or bandit were the backline classes. Assassin and chaser were the ones that Arma was the most, like, um, she aligned with the most, right? So I'm gonna guess chaser. I don't know what they're cooking with the drug ring. M maybe it's the same stuff. Maybe the underground battle ring that's happening in Itrai will have, you know, the subfamily that's basically distributing the goods. So it could be like two birds, one stone kind of thing. And the Loki guy, pretty cool. We have like another, not like an informant, but like somebody that we do business with. And we was like his best customer. Who knows if his face is really like this too, but that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.